if she would go to Waterbury, Connecticut with me and let me interview her and do her documentary of her, my style, and videotape the Clerks Association of the State of Connecticut and be back here at 3, 4, or 5 for Devon. And she can videotape him because her professors thought that should be included in her master's thesis on a chat with Glendora. Time, 9 a.m. Day, April 22nd. One month of spring is used up already. No, it isn't. False alarm. No, she's not coming in the truck. Of course, Shay. Hi, Shay. Victoria, where were you born? Oh, okay. Shay, do you have a costume? <laughs> Uh-oh, she really had to go to the bathroom. Well, of course she did. And what a nice place to go to the bathroom, Shay. Yeah, I love you, Shay. Oh, I love you so much, Shay. Oh, I just love you. And you remember it, do you? So you were born in Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. Where? In Media, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah, do you know how it got such a name? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's a perfect name though, right? It's perfect for us, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I wish I had that distinction. <laughs> would you like a red, white, and blue chair, or would you like a white chair? I guess you'd better have a white chair, not in count of the purple. Okay. All right. I have a bunch of stuff for you here. Oh, that's good. Anything edible? No, I don't. <laughs> but you got the outtakes for me, right? Yep, I have all the outtakes, and they're all labeled with a V. With a V? What's that stand for? Victoria. Oh, okay. It could stand for Vesta, you know. Or Vesta, yeah. And Andrew got this gift for you. He gave me a gift? Yeah. Oh, and I got one for him, too. Thank you, Andrew. Yeah, hopefully they'll fit in your Yes, Andrew, your thank cards. you. Thank you. I have big index cards. <laughs> Do I? That big? Thank you, Hopefully. Andrew. Andrew, I have $100 for Oh, wow. The Center for Alternative Media in your name because you work so hard behind the scenes, Andrew. He does. He really does. Uh, and what year were you born, Victor? 1977. 1977. What are your earliest recollections? Oh, I remember going to Disney World. Oh, you do, really? And Mickey Mouse making me cry. <laughs> Why, what did he do to you? He just scared me. <laughs> he came out and w started waving and went right for the stroller, and I started crying. <laughs> That's my earliest memory. <laughs> how, how early is that? I think I was, my mom said that I was one or two. A little pet aunt on you. Here, oh, I don't, I don't want the ant to get hurt. Is the ant gone? Um, I think, I think, I think he climbed off. Okay, I like ants. Oh no, he look, look, oh, there look, he folks. is. He's right in the hat. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it right there, and then the ant will find. That's where he wants to be. Find her way. She will find. Her way. It's probably her, you know. The boys stay home and sleep. Oh. It's the girls who will go out and do the work. <laughs> um, you can remember something when you were two years old. Yeah, it was one or two. I think that's my mom said we went when I was maybe one and a half or something like that. You know, the but earliest I thing that. I can remember is, is six. I can't get anything earlier than six. Hmm. Well, I don't remember much about those years. Uh -huh. Anything else you remember? Uh, when I was maybe six or seven, I used to ride a little motorcycle <laughs> in, the, in our backyard. What's this motorcycle look like? It's about that high. Um, and it was blue, and I think it was blue and orange. My dad, my dad had uh, 
had it for my sister, and and uh, when I got old enough, I started riding it. And and what? How old were you then? I think I was six or seven. I was very young. Oh yeah, well, it was then, a very little motorcycle. A very, very yeah. little one. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's a good memory. You got any others? Um, we're up to six years old now. Yeah. I remember making dolls, painting dolls with my grandmother. Painting them? Painting, yeah. She makes porcelain dolls. Oh, really? Um, and she used to um, have us, my sister and I, paint them when we were little. We would paint the hair on them with and the, the eyelashes. Oh, with uh, enamel paint? Or? Um, it was porcelain paint. Por porcelain paint, yeah. sure. Yeah. Sure, that's for that. And so I would do arts and crafts with my grandmother. And now that was your mother's mother or your dad? My father's mother. Your, your father's mother. What yeah. was her name? Her name's Eloise. Ellie? Eloise. Eloise, yeah. She's still alive. Is she the, uh, did she have the junkyard later on? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Any other early memories? Um, I remember being in school. Oh, you I do? I really liking my teachers a lot. You liked them a lot? Mm -hmm. I bet they liked you. You had a good yeah. relationship, huh? Yeah, yeah. I had, I had some really good teachers growing up. Um, do you remember any of their names? There was, uh, I think it was Mrs. Tuckerman. Mrs. Tuckerman. Yeah, uh, was a good teacher. Um, that was oh, first, wow. second, I or third it, grade? I think she was first grade. Yeah. And then I was in the gifted program from oh, first grade to... Oh, were you really? Yeah, and I had... My gifted teacher's name was Mrs. Dwyer. Mrs. Dwyer? Yeah, you mean she, was, she was great. She was my favorite, I think. They had a gifted program. Do you think they have yeah. that in New York State? I think, yeah, I think they do have it. Yeah. Yeah, they should have it. I wanted to. Could you over here? And because uh, uh -huh. the sun. Oh, the sun is too bright. No, it isn't that. It's just giving you a shadow that uh -huh. I don't. That... Oh, that's good. No, like facing this. facing me in the sun. Like this. Yeah. Well, this gifted program that's pretty nice, that isn't it? That was really fun. We would learn about dinosaurs. Oh, and you know what? In gifted class is where we made. I made my first movie. <laughs> So Tell me about it. Maybe that's where it all started. <laughs> we we made little animations with um, cut out little cut out characters, and the story was um, called it was called the car that could fly. <laughs> and there were a group of maybe three of us, and we all came up with it together. <laughs> and the little boy there's a little boy character and a father character, and the father asks the boy to wash his car. <laughs> so instead of washing the car with the soap bubbles, the little boy put the soap in the gas tank. <laughs> and then when his father went to start the car up, a big bubble <laughs> surrounded the car and carried the car off, <laughs> off up into the air. So it's called the car that could fly and our group won a little uh, cardboard Oscar. Oh, how cute. <laughs> And I, I wonder if my mom has it somewhere, but I remember it was a little cut out. Oscar. Oh, that's nice. Very cute. Oh, well, uh, what grade was this, Victoria? I think at that, I think when we did that, that was maybe fourth. Fourth grade, that would be nine years old. Yeah, it might have been fourth grade when uh, we made a movie. What were the names of the other two people? Um, the only one I remember is Susan Copperthwaite, who was a very good friend Copper of mine. Copper what? Copperthwaite. How do you spell that? C-O-P-P-E-R-S-W-A-I-T-E? I think. Something like that? Something like that, yeah. yeah T-H. Right. Oh, that's Wait. a good memory. Yeah. That's where it all started, Victoria. I really I believe think, in that. I think it is where, yeah, I, I believe that too. Yes. And then uh, what else can you remember? Uh, well, when I, actually when I was in third grade, I started doing um, a weekend program called... Um, the Young People's Theater Workshop. My goodness. And we, I started out actually with Susan. We went together and did um, 
a puppet class. A oh, how class. nice! So what kind of puppets? String puppets or hand puppets? They were hand puppets. Uh huh. And we would make up plays and do stuff like that, which was really fun. And you made them. Uh huh. And, and you had plays. And how long were your plays? Twenty minutes? Yeah, probably about that. And where did you perform them? We performed them for, I think, for the parents and the community at the end of the class. And and who organizes? Under whose auspices was it? Well, the organization is called the Young People Theater Workshop in Swarthmore. Pennsylvania or Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. And I think there's just an organization, I think they still have an organization of local actors and um, community members and musicians and artists that run these theater workshops for kids. And do you remember anything nice that people said about you? Um, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. uh, now, is Swarthmore where Swarthmore College is? Yes. And that's a yeah. Quaker college, isn't it? Um, yes, it was founded by the maybe, Quakers. Yeah, I think so. I don't really, I don't know the history of it, but I know it's a very oh, yeah. prestigious school. Oh, very, very, and, um, very. Actually, somebody who I knew from New York, a young person I worked with in New York, went to that school. Oh, yeah, and, and very expensive. Yeah, very yeah, expensive. It's very yeah. expensive. It's not Ivy League, but it certainly has the prestige. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't it's that right, Shay? Yeah. Okay, did you go to Swarthmore? Oh, we've walked around Swarthmore College a lot. <laughs> oh, really? Because that's right near Media. Swarthmore's yeah, right next to Media. Yeah, I was wondering that. How far is that from Philadelphia? Uh, 10 to 15 minute drive. Oh. Maybe I'd say 15 minute drive. If there's traffic, maybe 20, 25, something like that. Well, I'm thrilled with your early uh, yeah. uh, thespian endeavors. Uh-huh. Oh, and then from after puppetry, I decided um, that I wanted to take acting classes. So I started taking acting, like improvisation classes and then um, singing classes and stuff like that. So <laughs> I did that until I was, I think, in 11th grade. So you did? Third grade to 11th grade, we would have a play every year, a musical and stuff like that. So I was in a lot of plays growing up. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah, it was fun because it, it was, I wasn't, in theater classes with people I went to school with. What did you say? I wasn't in my, my classes with the people I went to school with. Oh, it okay. Was, you know, a new group of you, people. You had another group of friends. Yeah, it was yeah. in a whole different neighborhood from where I went to school. So I met a lot of new people, new and interesting people. And now you're improvising a master's degree. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm interested that you were so uh, involved in histrionics so early. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And that was up to 11th grade. Yep. 11th grade. And then in 11th and 12th grade, I did theater at, at my high school. And when I was in 12th grade, I did stage. I was a stage manager. I wasn't actually in the play. So uh -huh. I was doing behind the scenes stuff. Were you, ever, were you ever uh, on the uh, stage in the front, on the forefront? Yeah, I was. When I was in... Um, when I was in theater, we would do um, a bunch of different kind of plays, like Wizard of Oz and, <laughs> what and part Little were you? Mermaid and stuff like that. <laughs> what part Pink were you in The Wizard? Oh, in Wizard of Oz, I was, we did it twice. In third grade, I was the, a Lullaby League munchkin. <laughs> we had a little dance routine. And then when we, we did it again when I was in either 10th and 11th grade, and I was a character called Wendy the Winky. Oh, okay. <laughs> who was originally in the book and play, but didn't make it into the movie with Judy Garland. But she's a, 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 she was turned into, um, she was a princess, I think, and then was turned by the evil witch, was turned into like a goblin. <laughs> and then she falls in love with the Tin Man. Oh, she does? Yeah. <laughs> so he has, the Tin Man had a love interest. <laughs> Yeah, so that was fun. <laughs> uh, um, I was never one of the lead. I never got a lead role, but I always was oh, on the okay. periphery. But it was it was fun anyway. Our TV associate Devin McConnell uh, was in The Wizard of Oz, yes. and he was the wizard. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah, and Mr. Schoonover uh, 
said that uh, Devon would never have any problem speaking before large groups of people. Isn't that oh, good? And he's it. only a, a junior in high. Yeah. Who's it? Good memories. Give me it. some more. Um. Hmm. Uh. What? What year? Well, twelve. You're in twelfth grade, I believe. Now. Oh yeah. Now I'm in twelfth grade. Yeah. Oh, you're a senior. Gosh. At oh, that, what school was that? I went to Springfield High School. It was actually in Springfield because when I was in ninth grade, I moved from Media to Springfield. Oh, okay. We yeah. do have a lot in common. I went to Springfield High School. Oh, that's right. Springfield, Massachusetts. That's, yeah. Except it was classical high school. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I went to a public high school. It was a good high school. It was had a good reputation. Did it? For a uh -huh. public high school, uh -huh. yeah. And uh, did you do well academically? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did really well. You did? Yeah. Did you come to be the valedictorian or the salutatorian? No, I did not. <laughs> I didn't, but I did get a scholarship for college. Oh my goodness! Not a full scholarship, but I got, um, it's called the McGlone Zuli Scholarship. Oh, that's wonderful. It was about, about $6,000 to oh. go towards my undergraduate degree. That's great. And where was that? Pet aunt is back on your collar. Okay. <laughs> Look, Kate, can we get her off without, yeah. uh, wait a second, I'll give you a handkerchief. That'll make it easier. Here you are. Oh, now she might be climbing off herself. She can climb onto the handkerchief. Okay, don't hit her too hard. No, she's good. She's gone? She's resilient, yes. There she is, see? I'm resilient too, after recovering from your being an hour and a half late. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, and sp I'll so, make it up to you. <laughs> where was the undergraduate?